you want to write a basic Windows application using C language and want to start your journey in the development. Stay tuned till the end and do not miss any part of this video. What are Windows basic applications? Windows came long way. In the beginning days of Windows it used to come with basic minimal applications. Calculator, Notepad and Paintbrush are the most popular ones. These are small-scale applications and they were written in C. However, we can write these type of simple applications using Win32 APIs and C language. What are basic steps we write in Windows applications? Define WinMain function. Define a custom window class. Register the window class. Create the registered window. Show window. Update window for drawing. Infinite loop with get message. Dispatch messages to window procedure. Return from win main. What is window class structure? Windows class structure contains the window class attributes that will be registered by the register class function. What is message structure? Message structure contains message information from a thread's message queue. What all Win32 API functions we need to know? Register class. Def window proc. Create window. Show window. Update window. Get message. Dispatch message. Let's write our program. Add Windows header file. Let's write the win main function. Define local variables. Define members of window class. Window style, window procedure, instance, mouse cursor, background brush color, and name of the class.
register the window class. Create the window. Show window. Update window for paint or drawing. Get all the messages on this window from main thread. Dispatch those to window procedure. Return from when main on exit from message loop. Now let's compile the program. Our program uses Windows APIs so it needs Windows libraries. Kernel 32 user 32 GDI 32 libraries we have to add in the linking. Let's test the application. 
here it goes. Now you have your own app. Hope you like this tutorial. Help us to grow our channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel for watching these type of tutorial videos. Thanks once again and see you in the next video.